guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Kaylee June and I'm a beauty and fashion photographer based in Australia. And recently I have started this channel to talk about all things creative content and freelancing. So in today's video, we are going to talk about why you should have a website as a freelancer in 2021. And we're going to talk about a few reasons of why it's so important and why you shouldn't rely on other social media platforms as well. So we're going to get straight into the video today and I hope you guys all enjoy. So the first reason why you should have a website as a freelancer in 2021 is because it is yours. It is yours. It is no one else's. You don't have to be at the mercy of other social media platforms or other online platforms on the web, especially when it comes to earning money, you can really control where everything is going with your own website and how you want everything to appear. And that's a really important point that I'm going to make here because it is too easy to get sucked into just staying on one social media platform like Instagram. And if something changes, like say, for example, the algorithm changes at any point and you start to get less attention on your images or on your work and, and suddenly you're finding yourself in a position where you're not getting as much reach you're not getting as many uh, monetary offers, whether that be jobs, whether that be sponsorships, whether it be anything to do with your creative content. And it's really easy for something like that to happen. Uh, I would say the same for YouTube as well. As everyone knows, there was the adpocalypse going back a number of years ago. And a lot of people found that they just weren't earning as much money anymore, if anything, from their channels. And it was the one revenue stream that they were relying on. So I definitely think it is important to have your own website, something that you can call your own and that you can control because being left up to the mercy of other social media platforms sometimes is a very risky thing to do. The next reason why I think you should have your own website as a freelancer is that it's a great platform and base for selling your own products, whether that be digital or physical. And I think this is something that more and more freelancers and more and more creative freelancers are doing as they develop their businesses and change and evolve with the times. It's a way to earn passive income and it's something that you can easily do if you have your own website. Obviously, there are other platforms out there that you can use like Shopify and other online store based platforms. But I think it's really important to have your own website so you can control what's happening with that. You can control how much you're paying in fees as well, because some platforms really, really reap the benefits of you having used their platform for online stores. And that really comes down to the fee aspect too. So definitely consider this if it is something that you are thinking about doing with selling products, having your own website will allow you to do this with a lot more control overall. The third reason is that it's also a great base for creating an email list and for blogging. So maybe blogging isn't something that everyone wants to do, but I think it's a great base for other elements like I've talked about with selling products, but it's also a really great way to get people to sign up for an email list. And email lists are so important too, because this is also something that you essentially own. You are in control of it. Having an email list is building an audience of your own. It is not necessarily something that is tied to YouTube or Instagram or Facebook or wherever you might be on the web. It is something that is your own once again. So something that you can control. And if something goes down in terms of another social media platform at any stage, you can have something to rely on in that sense. Number four is it actually allows you to create a more personal relationship with your followers and an audience through an email list or through your own website as well. So this is really tying into point number three, but I think that it's something that allows you to become a lot more personable to your followers, to your audience, and it allows you to kind of go past just that that like button on Instagram and, and that really quick interaction that a lot of people tend to have with your work. It allows you to get content into people's email inboxes and directly to them. It really does allow you to create that more personal relationship with your followers overall. So it's definitely something that I recommend doing because it is once again, not relying on other platforms to do so. And number five is that it allows you to create a place to professionally show and display your portfolio and also putting your contact details out there in a professional way. Now, this is something, like I said, that is very underrated. I know a lot of people that do not have a website as a photographer or a designer or whoever they might be as a freelancer. It doesn't seem to be as an important Thing anymore. But I really do believe that it is. I think there's always clients that are going to be out there wanting a professional look at your portfolio and also a professional method of contacting you as well. Sometimes they want to find out a little bit more about you as a person and whether you may suit 
photographing for their brand or doing work for their brand or whatever you are as a freelancer personally, they might want to find out a little bit more about you, which is where an about page or bio comes in on your own website. So it's really important to take into consideration these aspects of why you should have your own website and really make a decision based on that. But I personally believe that all the things I mentioned today are really reason enough to create a website as a freelancer. It's a reason why I actually have two websites, um, one that is more for my professional clients and one that is more for an educational purpose for people that want to learn more about photography and running a business. So I believe that it's been a really important factor in my own freelance business and I think it's something that everyone should have. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you're interested in what platforms I'm currently using, I'm currently using Squarespace so I actually do have an affiliate link down below where I may earn a small commission if you do choose to sign up with them if you do click on that link and with my other website I also use WordPress because it is more of a blogging platform but if you guys have any questions about websites please feel free to put them in the comments section below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!